hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is usetale if you are new here you are highly welcome please do all to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified when we post new videos today's tutorial video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i made this beautiful corset crop top using bra cups if that's something you guys are interested in keep on watching and let's go straight to this video welcome back guys we are going to be starting this tutorial by first drafting the pattern so you can see i have my pattern paper on the table as well have my bra cups so these are the cups we are going to be using for this tutorial okay so i'm just going to go ahead now to start the drafting and to do that you can see i have my pattern paper folded into two as you can see so this is how you're going to fold your pattern paper into two so right now guys i'm going to be ruling a line here which is going to serve as my starting line okay so after you're done ruling that line right now i'm going to go ahead to take my shoulder measurement divided by two so you're going to measure your shoulder measurement divided by two mine is 7.5 okay so now you're going to come down by 0 0.75 inch for the shoulder slope and um here you will measure three inch so you're just going to connect the slope just like that okay so guys after you are done doing this now the next step is i'm going to go ahead to take the horizontal measurement so i'm going to measure to the boss point which is nine inches then i will take it to on the boss 12.5 then i will take the full length of this top i'm going to be making use of 17 inches for the full length so i'm just going to go ahead now to roll the lines so guys after doing this now i'm going to come to this shoulder line i will come down by seven inches okay so you're going to mark it then you go ahead and connect it So guys after doing that i'm going to go ahead to labor this is the chest line the bust point the under bust and we have the waistline okay so guys now that we are done labeling um the next step is i'm going to measure this line that i have here i'll be getting the midpoint of it which is 3.5 then i'll mark it and i'll go in by 0 0.75 inch so i'm going to connect the armhole so first of all i'm going to take my bust measurement divided by four okay so you're going to mark it and now you're going to use your curve ruler to create armhole so you're just going to make use of those dots to create the armhole okay just the way you see me doing it so this is what you're going to have so guys after doing that now the next step is to mark out the dot i'll come to the waistline i'm going to be measuring my need put to nipple measurement divided by two plus half inch so you take it there and you take it on the on the bust line as well okay so now you're going to connect it after you're done doing that you'll come to the waistline and here you're going to mark half inch on both sides okay then you're going to connect it to meet the under bust just like this so guys that's for the dart now i'm going to go ahead to take the body measurement so this is our initial bust measurement divided by four i'll be adding only extra one inch for the joining allowance then i'll come to the under bust i'll take my under bust measurement divided by four then i'll add one inch for joining allowance as well then the same thing on the waistline i'll take the waist measurement divided by four then i'll measure this that it is about one inch okay you're going to add it then you add extra one inch for the joining allowance then you're going to go ahead to connect the dots so guys this is what you're going to have you're just going to blend this okay so this is what you're going to have after doing that so right now guys i'm going to bring my cup it's time for us to you know draw the cup so i'm going to be bringing my cup right now to do that first of all i'm going to come to the bust points i'll measure in like half inch then you measure half inch on the under bust line as well you're going to connect it okay now i'm going to be placing my cup on the pattern paper like this making sure that the cup is meeting exactly where that line we just ruled is and as well the cup is sitting directly on the on the bust line okay so you're just going to arrange it very well like this then you go ahead to use your marker to trace it out okay you have to be very careful when doing this because you do not want to shake the bra cup and end up not having 
the right shape so you're just going to be very careful while you are doing this okay so when you get to the end exactly where the cup end you're going to mark it out like this and to the other side as well then you're going to remove your cup and just blend the line very well okay so guys this is what you're going to have after you're done doing that right now i'm going to go ahead to cut this out so guys this is what you're going to have after cutting you can see how it's looking right so right now i'm going to be bringing another pattern paper okay i'll be using this front piece to trace out the back okay so that's what i'm going to be doing next and uh, to do that first of all i'm going to be rolling a line on this other pattern paper which is going to be for like the zipper allowance so that space is for the zipper then i'm going to place my front piece on it making sure that it is directly on that line i just wrote then i'm going to trace it out just the way you see me doing it okay so i forgot to cut out this excess so guys you're just going to cut it out ahem then now you're going to go ahead to continue tracing so just align it well and you know trace out like that So guys after tracing you're going to remove the front piece right now you're just going to connect the two dots with your ruler then you are going to cut it out after cutting um, um you just write zipper here so you know that's the zipper allowance so right now i'm going to create the dart for the back so i'll take my nipple to nipple measurement divided by two plus half inch again now take it on this other end as well then you're going to rule a straight line you do the same thing take half inch on both sides so you connect it just the same way we did the dart for the front so this is what you're going to have so basically that's all for the drafting of these uh, corsets so these are the two pieces that we need okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to open up this front piece for you to see how it is looking you can see how it's looking nice so right now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead to use this to cut on my fabric okay so that's what i'm going to do right now this is what i had after i was done cutting them out you can see i added sewing allowance to this line here to the upper line and i added extra one inch to the length okay so i'm just going to remove my pattern paper now you can see i also cut out the lining piece as well okay so this is it now guys the next step is i'm going to be ironing hair stay and paper gum to these pieces okay so that's what i'm going to do right now hair stay for the actual fabric and paper gum for the lining pieces this is what i had after i was done ironing okay so you can see guys i've ironed hair stay and paper gum to all the pieces so i'm just going to place the back pieces aside i will also place the lining piece of the front pieces aside so right now i'm going to take this actual fabric then i will mark out the dart i'm just going to remeasure the dart just the same way we did it when we were drafting it on our pattern paper you take your nipple to nipple measurement divided by two roll the line then you take half inch on both sides of the waistline and you will connect it okay so guys now that i'm done marking out the dart i'm going to take this to the sewing machine you're just going to fold it like this then you sew it i'll do the same thing to the other side this is what i had after i was done sewing that on the both sides and ironing so guys now i will bring my cups i'm going to be working on my cups first of all i'm going to be making a dart on my cup yes i'm going to be sewing a dart on this cup so you are just going to take it to the sewing machine fold it together and sew it that just like that so guys this is what i had after i was done sewing that dart you can see the dart will actually give it more room to actually fit your breast very well especially if you are the type that is a little bit busty so you want to have a cup that looks like a push-up kind of you know so that's why i did this so now that you're done doing this guys i'm just going to place the two cups aside i'll bring my fabric so i'm going to be cutting out fabric that i will use to cover up 
the cup okay so you're just going to cut a piece of your fabric like this then you're going to fold it into two then you fold it together again so you're going to fold your fabric into four like this then you're just going to trace out like a circle you see you're just going to trace it out like that to give you a shape that looks like a circle you make a dot at the middle so right now you're going to open it up like this then you will mark one inch here you mark one inch on this other side then you're going to connect it to meet that notch that you made at that middle point okay so guys this is what you're going to have right now i'm going to take this to the sewing machine and sew it this is what i had after i was done sewing two fabric for the two cuffs so you're just going to cut off the excess and you iron it out So guys, after ironing, you can see how it is looking. The circle has space for the cup, you can see. So right now, you are going to put your cup inside like this. Then you are going to pin it down. Align it where then you are just going to pin it down. Then after you are done pinning it down there, then you pin it down at the other end as well. Then you are just going to pin it all around okay you're just going to align it where pin it all around so guys this is what you are going to have after painting you can see how nice it's looking now take it to the sewing machine and run a stitch on it then i will do the same thing to the other cup this was what I had after I was done placing the fabric on the two cuffs. So I'm just going to trim out this excess fabric. You can see what we have now guys. So I'm, go I'm going to place these two cuffs aside now. Then I'll bring my fabric. I'm going to be using the fabric itself as the bony case for my bony. So you can see I folded my fabric in the form of a cutting bias. I use my iron to do that. So right now guys, I'm going to place my fabric on this that line and I will sew it on the two sides. Then I will do the same thing to the middle parts and as well to the other side. So that's what I'm going to go to do right now. This is what I had after I was done sewing the boning case. You can see from the back. So this is it. So right now, guys, the next step is I'm going to be adding my cup to this fabric. And before I do that, I'm going to cover up my cup. So I already sew lining piece. Just the same way I sewed actual fabric that I use in covering the cup. So I'm going to be using the lining piece now to line the cup before i fix it to the fabric so you're going to place them right sides facing each other like that then you will sew it this is what i had after i was done sewing i will cut out this excess okay so after you are done doing that you're going to open it up like this then you are going to top stitch to the lining side then you do the same thing to this other one this is what I had after I was done top stitching. You can see, guys. So, this is it. So, I realized when I put the lining inside, the lining was showing, and I didn't want that to happen. So, guys, to avoid that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be running a stitch on it. To do that, I'm just going to use my pin to pin the lining to the cup, making sure that the lining piece is not showing. Do you guys see what I'm doing? So this is how you're just going to keep pushing the lining piece inside while you pin. So you can see how beautiful our cup is looking right now. I'll take it to the sewing machine and I will run that stitch on it. Then I will do the same thing to the other cup. This was what I had after I was done running the stitch, guys. You can see. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my ball and my hemming gum. I'm going to be gumming the lining piece to the cup itself so you're just going to place hemigong inside your cup like this then you're going to cover your cup with the, your piece then you just use your iron to press it then that's going to gum your lining piece to the cup okay 
so you're just going to place more hemming gum and gum using your hot iron so guys this is what i had after i was done gumming the two right now I'll take it to the sewing machine and just run a stitch on them so guys this is what i had after i was done running the stitch i also went ahead to cut out the ss fabric so right now bring my fabric and i'm going to bring my lining piece i already make that on the lining piece just the way we did for the actual fabric so i'm placing them right sides facing each other i'm going to take this to the sewing machine then I will stitch this part, stitch this part, and also sew this part. This is what I had after I was done sewing the three parts. Now you're going to open it up and iron it out. So this is what you're going to have after ironing. Right now I'm just going to take this to the sewing machine and I'm just going to stitch it. This is what I had after I was done stitching. Okay, so this is how it's going to look. So guys, right now I'm going to be attaching the cup and I'm going to place the cups on them like this. So I'm just going to bring my pin and I'm going to be pinning the cup to the fabric. So you're just going to pin it like this. Then you just keep doing it till you get to the end. So guys, this is what I had after I was done pinning. You can see how our cup is looking so nice even without sewing yet. So I'm going to take this now to the sewing machine and sew it round. Then I'll do the same thing to the other cup. This is what I had after I was done sewing the two cups. You can see, I also went ahead to weave this seam to give it a nice look. So this is what you're going to have, guys. So right now, I'm going to be putting my bony through my bony case. Guys, this is what I had after I was done putting bony inside and ironing it out. So right now, I will flip this um, inside. I'll put the cups inside like that. Put the lining and the actual fabric together and I'll take the same machine and sew it. This is what I had after I was done sewing, guys. So right now, I'm going to bring out the cup from inside just like this. Okay, so guys, this is what you're going to have. I'll go ahead to iron this out. This is what I had after ironing, guys. Now I'm going to place this front piece aside, then I'll work on the back pieces. So I already sewed the lining to the actual fabric of the back pieces, as you can see. So what I'm going to do now is to sew the zipper allowance area. I'm just going to place it together, then I'll run a loose stitch on that area. This is what I had after I was done running that stitch. I'm just going to go ahead to iron it flat. I'll be putting the zipper later. Right now, I'll make the dart. So this is what I had after I was done sewing the darts. I also went ahead to iron it out. So guys, right now, now that we are done doing that, I'm going to go ahead to attach the zipper. So I'm going to lose this zipper allowance space again. The reason I did this before was to give it a gator. So right now, I'm going to go to fix the zip this is what i had after i was done fixing the zip guys you can see so now guys i'm going to bring the front piece now i'll place the front piece on the back piece the right sides facing each other then i'm going to join it using one inch which is the allowance we added while we were drafting it out so guys this is what i had after i was done joining the sides i also with it after i was done doing that so right now i'm going to iron this out and that is going to be basically all for this tutorial okay so let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section let me know if you are going to be trying out this tutorial and if you watch this video from the beginning to the end and still you haven't subscribed come on what are you waiting for thank you so much guys for watching